Today I'm walking from the top of the hill coming up from Lithgow where you can park at this gate and uh, going up to the access to Rutherford Cave. From there we'll go down into the valley. It's about four or five minutes walk along here All of the rocky areas on the left are well worth checking out. There are a few lookouts and one seat. But we press on past that point. At this point, we head down to the left into Rutherford Glen. There are rock cut steps, I'm just down from the road so they start well up and these were cut in the 1930s. The glen itself is named after Mr Rutherford, his name I forget, who was the first worker, <coughs> who was the first to uh, reduce iron ore to iron in Lithgow. In front of me is Hurley Cave, which was basically a small picnic area at the end of the undercliff walk, which heads off around the base of the cliffs and comes out at King George's Head at the other side. It also went the other way around the base of the cliffs here. So we'll have a look at both. This is the right hand ledge which we'll follow as far as we can. The ledge looks a bit perilous to me. However, along this track, there are these steps that have been made, which strongly suggests that's the way the walk went. However, I'm going to try at the lower level below the cliffs. Well, I've come down maybe 20 metres vertically and uh, this appears to be a track so I guess this is, is the way to try the ledge I followed is just up there track continues and of course you can hear the traffic noise from the Great Western Highway below. The track continues at the base of the cliff and we'll follow it and see 
where it goes. It's an easy walk down here. From here on the track looks like it's going to be much rougher. You either follow around the cliff over there or we go up this gully. We'll soon know if either is possible. Well I've chosen the lower level which will lead me around the base of the cliff up ahead. And it looks rather adventurous up there. I think the sandstone cliffs of Hassan's walls come to an end just up here. Let's hope we can get around there and soon now. Cliffs curve around to the left, but I think there'll be there'll be a break in them up there. This is one of the few places of Hassan's walls where you'll see or hear any water running or dripping, perhaps closer to it. I hope the track takes us up around here. If not, there seems to be a track on the opposite side. Unfortunately, there isn't any way up here. You'd need a ladder to be built to do that well we can always fall back on the track that goes in this direction hopefully that will be better it does look as if the track continues around the base of the cliff but this looks more promising for getting out of here The climb finally brings us out onto this track, which I guess will take us back to the car by going right. This is the only place where there's any access to a view. This is where we went down into Rutherford's Glen. And up ahead is the Hassan's Walls Road. 
total time taken for this walk around an hour and a half. 